Yo, 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 what's good everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker. And yes, we're back at it with another What Soul video. It is 8.45 on March 21st of 2023. And uh, it's a great start to the week of sales. So between Monday and today, which is Tuesday, um, we have 15 items going out for $737.99. So let's just round up to $738 uh, worth of stuff and just 15 items. So that's not a not a bad ordeal at all. Um, so anything new, anything new. So no, nothing too crazy going on this week. Um, the unit that I wanted to win this upcoming Thursday is over $6,000. Now I could go after it, but I got my taxes that are coming, uh, that are going to be due this week. So I'm probably not going to get it. I might try to go after the second unit or I might just say, you know what? We don't really need the inventory right now. Let's just be smarter with our money and uh, at least wait till our taxes are paid. And that way we're good to go. That way I realistically know how much money I can spend. I like to keep myself on a budget for the most part. Um, so either way, I'm pretty sure I'm good. Even if I did bid on the $6,000 unit at the same time, I'm just like, you know what? Let's just, let's stay comfortable where we are. <laughs> so, um, but we do have some things pulled behind me. Let's go see what we got. And if you guys are new to this channel, I go by the Georgia Picker. Also, uh, Brandon is my actual name. And you know, we go to garage sales, we go to thrift store, well, occasional thrift stores, but we do bin stores, we do abandoned storage units, uh, estate sales. We, we're very versatile over here on the channel, and everything that you guys see is where we buy this stuff from, and then we flip it on eBay or uh, other platforms to make money for ourselves, to produce income, and uh, pay the bills, eat food, and live the rest of our life right <laughs> so uh, that's basically what we do though and if you guys do enjoy these type of videos please hit that like button subscribe all that good stuff but let's go ahead and get into what we have that we sold all right so this is an affliction 2xl uh shirt long sleeve button-up shirt We've got a whole bunch of these uh well five of them in a yard sale this is the uh, officially the last one that we have we're already well in the green on this deal this is uh, actually what it looks like it's all black with like red stitching and it did sell for thirty dollars plus shipping death stranding we got these for i think a dollar a piece at walmart we have an app called brick seek that shows up uh deals in your local area and when things go on clearance early before they even put out signs that shows that it's on clearance you guys can find some pretty cool stuff so we paid like a dollar for this and it sold for 14 bucks free shipping. We got this from the bin store last Friday at Black Friday Deals. Got it for $7 and it sold pretty quick for $20 plus shipping. This right here is a Alien by Pat Simmons uh, Wedge Golf Club. Yeah, this right here sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. If you guys remember from Peaches to Beaches, uh, it's been about two weeks now since we went to Peaches to Beaches. Yeah, uh, we got three beetles ornaments for 50 cents a piece and what made me mad about this sale was we got it for 50 cents a piece great deal great deal we got three of them uh whenever i talked to the people who owned this stuff they told me that they had a whole bunch of them but the wind blew them over and busted them and shattered and these are the last three they had unfortunate because if i would have if i would have seen them i probably would have bought all of them so this is a kurt s adler beetles ornament now they're not vintage but they are from 2013 and keep in mind we paid 50 cents a piece so 50 cents for this one and we sold it for 30 dollars plus shipping from the diecast car storage units this is a siku siku volkswagen uh mk1 variant green west germany yeah there you go right there Pretty cool stuff from the diecast car unit, pure profit. This diecast car sold for $34 plus shipping. We also got this from Black Friday Deals uh, this past Friday, this Gourmet Black Coffee by Organo Gold. So those two right there, we got $14 invested because they came in a two pack, but I sold them as a four pack and uh, they sold for $100 free shipping. But this is the first time this has ever happened to me. I've sold probably a dozen of these in the past three years. And I got hit with a counterfeit Vero on eBay for some coffee. I didn't know they made counterfeit coffee. Um, it's probably not counterfeit. I'm pretty sure it's, I'm sure it's legit. It's just now they're cracking down on, I guess, them selling their coffee. Like I said, I've sold a dozen of these. Not saying it wasn't a Vero before. But it's the first time I've ever got wind of that it's a Vero. I usually do my due diligence. I've sold it in the past. I didn't check recently. So they, this, I'm pretty sure this Vero, uh, Vero for this type of coffee, uh, Organo Gold, is is new. Pretty sure it's like new. You know what I'm saying? Um, so 
don't sell it don't sell it uh, ebay allowed me to go ahead with the transaction uh so it sold for 100 dollars, but they took it down because of a vero so for now on i would not be picking this up or i might be able to pick it up and sell it on a different platform but i mean it's just crazy that they got me for a counterfeit coffee if you guys ever have ever had counterfeit coffee vero let me know down in the comment section below all right wrestlers gonna be down in the garage and we actually have 10 minutes to get this done because my video is about to premiere all right guys right here in f2 we have a plush going out and it's gonna be this thing right here it's a build-a-bear sloth look at that isn't that cool i honestly don't remember where this is from i don't know if this is from the private paper with mr tim or maybe one of the 10 by 30 units this build-a-bear sloth sold for ten dollars plus shipping all right coming over here to i believe it's gonna be these two right here yeah deathly hollows and the half blood print so these are actually um compact discs so i think they're yeah they're discs there you go yeah so we got these in an online auction uh don't have much money into it at all and but we got it all with uh those four sets as well but those are cassettes these are cds somebody bought the lot of two for 17 bucks plus shipping all right coming over here to e1 and we have some blank media that's going out all right this is it right here this tdk d60 doesn't go for a whole lot but this is from what uh, the 10 by 30 unit this sold for four dollars plus shipping something that we got from black friday deals last friday as well i told you guys about these books and i still highly recommend them and i don't think it's that one and it's not this one but it's that one right there so yeah this is the irc 2018 book uh irc or wait yeah irc international codes i think it's electrical code book um got there for seven dollars sold very very quick for fifty dollars plus shipping all right so something from the warner robbins unit is going to be in this unit and we actually just filled this up the other day and it's going to be uh that shift knob that i told you guys about the one that was made in italy and it's called momo never heard of the brand until i did some research so from the warner robbins unit as you guys know we're already in the green this shifter knob sold for 75 dollars plus shipping all right guys so right here in c2 this is from the 10 by 30 unit the first one i believe this is called the elgin collectible mini clock and it's a car from kmart back in the day this right here from the 10 by 30 unit sold for 15 bucks plus shipping all right guys so it took me a couple seconds to get them out of g uh j1 from the Briggs and Stratton deal that I did in the online auction, got a whole bunch of stuff, and that stuff is pretty. I mean, this thing used to be filled, but now there's a little, little brown on the bottom, so it's definitely filling in some gaps. But this ring set right here and this gasket, both of these sold in total for forty-four dollars plus shipping. All right, guys, so we actually got two of these Fitbit Versa twos. We got them out of L five here. Um, both of these are from the Friendly Marketplace. We got these for six dollars a piece. Yeah, definitely not a bad price for that, right? Um, but uh, I had these up there for 75 bucks a piece and somebody sent me an offer for 70 a piece So five dollars off of each one um, So I decided to go ahead and do that. So that's right there. Right there. Sorry. Can't talk today Both of these sold in total for 140 dollars Plus shipping. All right guys, that's gonna be everything going out between yesterday and today So definitely not some not not bad sales going out, right? Um, we will see you guys Thursday night with what sold. So yeah, see you guys in a sec. All right guys, check it out It is thursday march 23rd 7 38 at night and i'm a little summer i was in the sun a little bit today um <laughs> so uh we got a little bit of packages going out not a lot but uh it was definitely quality over quantity that's definitely for sure this week is definitely starting off great or at least the beginning of the week was starting off great the middle of the week now is starting off or still going strong and then of course we don't know what's going to be sold over the weekend but uh yeah truly blessed to have these sales let's go ahead and break it down so over on ebay we have 16 items going out for $911.90. Then we have one item going out over on Amazon for $20.48, which puts us at a total of 17 packages going out for $932.38. Now, I will go ahead and say that I did ship out one item today. It was a Sony Handycam um, that sold for $115 plus shipping. Or no, yeah, $115 plus shipping. The buyer said that according to their transaction it was going to get there until the 28th and they had to catch a flight on the 28th so they're like is there any way you could ship it out today and i was like 
I normally don't, but since you spend a lot of money, I'll go ahead and do that. Plus, I was already going down to my personal or my business storage unit, and uh, there's a UPS store right there. So I was like, you know what? I don't mind doing it. So uh, that item has already been shipped out. And then, of course, the rest of the stuff is going to be behind me and, of course, in the garage. And um, is there anything I need to update you guys on? I'm not too sure, but uh, we will see when we get there. But let's go ahead and check out these items that we have pulled. All right, boom. So this is a little bit of stuff. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. $911. Uh, going out over on eBay. It's pretty, pretty insane stuff. But let's just go ahead and start off here with this Pokemon card. Um, this is called Hydragon. Hydragon. It is a hollow rare, sold for one dollar thirty cents, free shipping. Death Stranding. We got these for a dollar a piece at Walmart whenever they went on clearance. Death Stranding for the PS4, sold for fourteen dollars and two cents, free shipping. We have a uh, reverse hollow. This one's uh, Paris or Perez. I can't remember the name of it, but it sold for one dollar free shipping. Diecast car from the Diecast car storage unit. This one is a Majorette uh, Toyota 4WD, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a 155 scale, yeah, number 273. Um, now, a lot of people who get into uh, diecast cars. Now, I don't consider myself an expert when it comes to diecast cars by no means, but after doing that diecast car storage unit, uh, going on a year and a half now, maybe closer to two years. Yeah, two years, because 2021 is when we won that unit. And after I researched tons and tons of cars, Hot Wheels isn't the only thing that's good. I mean, you have Majorette, you have Play Art, uh, you have old school Matchbox. I mean, there's tons of different brands out there that a lot of people don't even know, like Saiku or Siku, however you say it. Um, they're, the, they're the made in Germany ones. And I think Majorette's France, I think. Yeah, made in France. So um, those are all good names to look out whenever you guys are going to like estate sales or yard sales i guess i think you would find them probably in a state sale more than anything um, or even storage units but yeah so this little um diecast car like i said it's from the diecast car you know we we have already made our money times 20 on that storage unit and this stuff is still selling even two years later they don't take up that much room and it finally found the right buyer this diecast car sold for 29 dollars and 72 cents plus shipping all right from the 10 by 30 unit this is a 1992 nut sweet nut <laughs> ornament <laughs> uh from the year i was born sold for five dollars plus shipping another ornament from the 10 by 30 unit this says look it's santa also from 1992 sold for five dollars plus shipping and another ornament <laughs> from the 10 by 30 unit this one is big roller hallmark ornament sold for five dollars plus shipping and again we still have uh matter of fact i was actually at the storage unit today my my, my business one and we actually uh, I was going through some of the totes just to kind of see what it, what exactly I kind of had left and um, I still have another like eight totes that is filled with ornaments that's not even including the two totes I have in my my garage that are filled with ornaments so I don't know it's pretty wild uh, of how much we still have um, from that uh, those units um, this right here this is a 10 uh, I'm sorry 10 by 30 this is from the Warner Robins storage unit this is Ninja Gaiden Gaiden uh, we tested it. It is authentic. We even opened it up to verify, you know, that is that it is authentic, and it sold for thirteen dollars plus shipping. This is also from the Warner Robin storage unit. This was down in my storage unit until as of last night. Last night we ended up, uh, last night we ended up listing this uh, Intel Express 3D graphics card. Now this is where my advice always comes into play. Always do your research. Don't just assume, right? Um, and this is where it gets kind of crazy. So there was none listed, none sold. We went on worth point. The last one sold in 2021 for $50. That was the highest one. So I'll put it up there for a hundred, put best offer on it. And it sold overnight for a hundred dollars plus shipping. So, uh, and it is brand new on the inside. So a hundred dollars plus shipping for that. And from the Warner Robins unit, we've already, I think we're in the green by like $300 now. Pretty wild. Um, but that's not it though. This right here is a Heart 20 volt battery system we got this as well as another one of these the other ones uh, over there on the uh, metal rack and then we also got um, a couple tools and all that good stuff uh, for like 70 bucks and we are now in the green on that online auction um, but again this right here sold for 75 dollars plus shipping and of course we still have one more over there but um going over here to this thing so this thing right here is very very surprising and again this is why you always do your research this is a brand new uh, graphics card from back in the day. So this one is a Aurel Vortex 2 PCI sound card, AU8830A2. So if you guys ever wanted to see the model numbers on these, it's going to be right there. Um, I was, I'm was i fairly familiar with graphics card graphic cards because I build computers. I built my own. Um, 
and uh so i'm very familiar with exactly what it was i wasn't sure if it was worth anything because when you think of graphic cards nowadays you're looking at 3080s you know 3060s you know that type of stuff uh, but this is definitely an old vintage one and i did some research on it and i was like well it's going for a minimum of 150 bucks let's put it out there for 150 put best offer see what happens and the same time that i listed this item here i listed that and, the, and they both sold overnight so this right here sold overnight for 150 dollars plus shipping and that is from the warner robin storage unit now if that doesn't get your heart rate up 200 let's see 100 150 so you figure 250 dollars sold overnight and something that i just listed last night on something that i've never had before reselling is insane okay so yeah so i do have one update so as you guys can see there's nothing on this rack so we ended up cleaning out or um cleaning out we ended up clearing out some stuff from our racks here so we moved a whole bunch of stuff over here some of the newer product you know that type of stuff um and then we ended up just kind of making everything a little bit more organized that's some more room here room in the bottom there and then we got this pretty much this whole thing so on this rack i'm going to try to keep books and media stuff as well as um i mean that's technically media because that's a dvd vhs combo um but yeah that's kind of what we're going to do and then over here we're going to have like decor slash home stuff i guess stuff that you can put as decorations and and whatnot and then uh this stuff is just going to be kind of like toys and i don't know a little bit of everything i guess um but yeah the garage looks pretty good garage looks really good we actually organized all that um these boxes need to get over there in that corner we cleared off that rack um so yeah you know, we got a little bit of inventory here so it, the garage is looking really good i'm very uh surprised um how far we've come from uh you know uh how massive uh or massively dirty this unit uh this unit i keep saying unit uh <laughs> this garage is but let's just go ahead and pull this order here we're just gonna leave it here for now um, but I do want to show you guys. Let me let me pull it out real quick. All right, guys, here it is right here. So this is a Delonga, Delongi, Delongi. I don't know how to say that, but this is a toaster oven broiler. I guess the Alfredo model. I guess. Um, if you guys remember the yard sale where we found all of the HeroScape stuff, um, this was part of that deal. And keep my wordy well in the green on that deal. Um, but let's just see exactly. Uh, matter of fact, I think I know what it sold for. This Delongi toaster oven broiler Alfredo. It is brand new in the box sold uh for 120 dollars plus shipping i'm gonna leave it down here because i have to get a box and all that but let me just verify that yeah 120 dollars plus shipping on that item right there all right right here in f5 something from the 10 by 30 storage unit it's gonna be one of those uh pewter lighters and let me see if i can find it all right yeah it's gonna be right here in this little crevice there we go right there yeah so this is a vintage 1909 thomas flyabout uh pewter metal car whatever you guys want to call it cigarette lighter this from the 10 by 30 unit sold for 15 bucks plus shipping all right so i pulled k1 right here we have uh this uh nascar car going out so i didn't go for much if you guys remember the garage show where we found 50 of these amongst a whole bunch of them in the boxes we're actually already in the green on that deal we technically have a dollar a piece in each one but throughout the whole entire deal we are already in the green this car right here is gum out number 30 this right here is sold for five dollars plus shipping all right, pull C6 from up there. We have this uh, Seattle Mariners ML Bears. We haven't sold one of these in quite some time, so I'm very surprised to see it sell. Yeah, we got all these from the estate sale. We're actually in the green from that estate sale. This bad boy right here, Ken Griffey Jr. Bear, sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, and then the last item that's going out over on Amazon is gonna be this book that we just picked up at Black Friday Deals last Friday. And it's gonna be this one right here, this guide to clinical documentation got it for seven dollars doesn't go for a whole lot but it does sell to uh or through media mail so the shipping will not eat up my uh my profits uh so pay seven dollars for it and it sold for twenty dollars and 48 cents or 20 i can't remember what it is twenty dollars 28 cents or twenty dollars 48 cents probably twenty twenty eight. that sounds better um but uh yeah so seven dollars into that and um yeah, not a bad little flip and it sold pretty quick so again we cleared off these racks um the storage unit actually looks very very good um the storage units are the two of them the one that was going for over six thousand uh that was supposed to be ending today both of them ended up getting canceled so we have nothing to do <laughs> so i don't know if we're going to black fridays tomorrow i'm not too sure i might just relax i don't know we're gonna see i've been working hard that's why that's why i'm sunburned right i don't know if you guys can tell too much yeah <laughs> so looking kind of scary but 
again, we're working hard. We're trying to get this stuff right here a little bit more organized um, because we have a lot of boxes um, and this is just to ship, you know, other stuff. Um, but yeah, but then you got like this nice little hole here. And matter of fact, I don't know if you guys can hear, but it's kind of a little more echoey in here, which is which is good. Um, but all right here, it's gonna be all my weight stuff. All that is organized as well as the racks. Um, but this stuff is inventory. This stuff is inventory. This stuff is inventory, and then this stuff is inventory plus everything on that rack. So we gotta figure it out. It's taking a little bit um, longer. I did say I'll, I would like to have my own gym by like July or June. Um, that would be the goal to get how you know to get everything the way I want it. And weights are not cheap. They're pretty expensive. So. Um, eventually we are going to get there. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy on the outcome of how we're doing everything. But anyways, I'm ranting. We will see you guys Sunday with what sold. So hopefully the sales stay strong towards the end of this week. So see you guys Sunday. All right, you guys. So check it out, man. Uh, so as I'm, I'm sure these videos are going to be getting intertwined between the recent storage unit that we just did down in Jacksonville, Florida, um, as well as this what so video. So I don't know how many videos have premiered at this point in time, but let me tell you guys, man, we have been working hard this week. Friday, you know, getting down there, we left at like 11 30 in the morning, won the unit, and it took us roughly six hours to get everything loaded up in the U-Haul. And then that same night, uh, buddy Harley had to go work at midnight because he's, he's a truck driver had to drive back all the way back to Georgia um, before midnight got in his truck uh, got a load or something and then he went all the way back to Orlando and he didn't get back to about 1 45 in the afternoon on Saturday and then um, at 4 35 o'clock um, he brought the U-Haul to my my storage unit so we, we can store stuff because he has no room where he's at and the only thing that we had to rely on was my storage unit Thank goodness everything is was able to fit, but I can only take like two steps into my unit. So, um, yeah, so we did that Saturday and then Sunday morning, uh, which is today, which is Sunday, um, he had to go take uh, the U-Haul trash to the dump, him and his wife. And then, uh, um, yeah, so here we are now. We haven't gone through the unit yet. We do have a bunch of stuff in my garage. I'm not going to go through it. This is going to be something that's going to be uh, long tail type of stuff until we can get to it and uh, you guys will see that here in a minute but again it's a what so video i'm a little tired so if i don't bring the energy i apologize um if you guys want to see some of the crazy pictures of this storage unit make sure you guys follow my instagram down in the description um and, and or look at the youtube community tab because i'm going to start posting pictures more often anytime we win stuff that type of stuff um but the but yeah the crazy thing is man we we, we struck gold again uh, i'm just extremely blessed but anyways just trying to give you guys a backstory of why my energy is so low. But anyways, uh, this is a what's old video. Uh, sales were really slow over the weekend, and that's because I wasn't listing. We've been dealing with this unit, and it, it makes sense. So uh, we only have 13 items going out for $398.42. So let's just round it up to $400. Um, that is it. <laughs> that's everything that's going out. So uh, I got a handful of things pulled behind me. Let's see what we got. All right, guys. So this is a little bit of stuff, and the rest of the stuff's going to be down in the garage. So let's go ahead and start it off here with this Pokemon card. This is called a Bolt. It is a hollow, or yeah, a hollow rare Pokemon card sold for $1.20 free shipping. Nintendo Power Magazine. This is not from the Warner Robins unit. This is from a uh, another deal I did a while back. It's been sitting over here on my floor. Got all of them listed. Been listed for a little bit. Uh, this Mario Kart Super Circuit 1 Volume 148 sold for 13 bucks plus shipping. From one of the 10 by 30 units, this Hot Wheels Monster Jam Batmobile from 2003 sold for $10 plus shipping. Uh, one buyer ended up buying this uh, Spooky Knoll uh, gate thingy, the decoration piece. Um, as you guys know, we got a bunch of those at an estate sale. And... Uh, Again, we're already in the green on that deal, so this is pure profit. Um, but they also bought four of the Lamax maple trees. We'll pull that when we get down to the uh, garage. Um, but this alone sold for 15 bucks plus shipping, and then they bought four of the maple trees, but we're going to combine the shipping for them so they have the best shipping uh, price as possible. Um, but we'll show you guys when we get there. But that thing alone sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. Another one of these uh, HeroScape things, Narok the Glacian Swag Rider. Um, we're already well in, this green, uh, well in the green on this deal as well. Uh, all that Hero Escape stuff sold extremely quick. This right here sold for $35 plus shipping. We have an Atlanta Braves hat. I don't remember where we got this from. I do not remember. I don't think it's from a storage unit. It might be from the private pick with Mr. Tim, maybe. Or maybe I picked it up at a yard, so I don't remember. 
Uh, this Atlanta Braves hat sold for 18 bucks and 88 cents plus shipping. This right here is a Columbia 2X, uh, I guess it's called a Skort, S-K-O-R-T. Size 2X and 100-23 is the correct skew. I think we got this at the bins for seven bucks, I think, or we got it at a yard sale for $5. I don't remember. Either way, it did sell for $30 plus shipping. All right, guys, look who it is. It's the wifey. I convinced her to help us pull the rest of the orders. Aww. Ready to do this thing? <laughs> and look who it is. It's Maximus Aurelius Decimus Pegasus Hackle. Look at where you going. Come on, buddy. What you doing? Look at, look at that you. wiggle. Yeah, look at the little wiggle. Look at <laughs> he loves the camera though. Look at this. Max. Max, you like the camera? Mm -hmm. Oh, he loves the camera. And then look at the baby. It papa. Oh yeah. She's such a she she she's a sweet one. Mwah. All right, so first item that we're gonna be pulling is gonna be in J1. Um it's gonna might take a few seconds to find, but it's from the all of that Briggs and Stratton lawnmower parts. Um there's gonna be a small skinny box. The number on it is going to be 230722. It's going to be a long skinny box. Model number on it is 230722. 230722. She found it. Sold for $5 plus shipping. All right, so we just pulled this one because we didn't know where it was. It was in D1. And it's this Riverside Precision Instrument. It's right there. Um, but the model number on this is 61-9018. Got this in an online auction with a whole bunch of stuff. That thing right there is sold for $10 plus shipping. Looking for a pack of vintage Hot Wheel cards from the 10x30 unit. All right, the wifey finally dug it out. But yeah, this Hot Wheels uh, playing cards doesn't go for a whole lot from the 10x30 unit. Pure profit sold for $5 plus shipping. All right, now we're going to be going into D3. And you remember all of the maple trees that you found at the estate sale? Mm -hmm. Pull four of them out of there because four of them sold. Really? Look at that. One, two. And she has, so the wifey gets credit for this fine. There's three. All these are Lamax branded. Because what you didn't realize they were Lamax Yeah, branded. because if you turn them around to the other side, there's nothing on here that says Lamax. Oh, wait, no, it does say Lamax. Wow. Okay, maybe I'm just blind. <laughs> so hold it up for the camera. Smile. There's a thumbnail. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, so all four of these sold for $10 a piece. So that right there is $40 plus shipping and pure profit yeah all right so from the private pick with mr tim if you see that blue book right there on the third one down uh should be a vintage 1972 keystone coal industry manual and uh i guess she just devi devalued a book or something i don't know <laughs> it's okay um we got this from the private pick from mr tim um there was none sold there was it was his own listing he took it down for me and you know let me have it um but this right here sold for 80 dollars plus shipping all right now last item we're gonna be going into f5 we're looking for a korean war u.s army knife and this one should be in a plastic baggie and yep that's it right there so this uh, this is from the 10 by 30 storage unit, or, or at least one of them. And again, that unit is just filled with all type of surprises. This Korean War knife, U.S. Army knife, sold for ten dollars plus shipping. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be everything that's going out for the weekend. Like I said, not a lot of sales for the weekend. I think this week was actually really good, but the weekend was slow. Um, but we also got uh, a unit, and it's been three days now, so we're just we're exhausted. I'm I'm tired. I think I'm. I know, I know my buddy Harley, he's running off of very minimal sleep. I'm probably running off of like four or five hours of sleep in the past like two and a half days. Um, cause whenever my body gets restless, I just don't sleep. So, um, but I did get a little bit of sleep, but, uh, but yeah, so we're taking a day to three days off from this unit before we even tackle it. We, we need a mental reset and a physical reset. That way, when we go down there to the unit to really start going through everything, um, and getting our first load to bring back to our own houses and get it listed and stuff. We're gonna have a fresh mindset and we're gonna tackle it with a clear mind and clear conscience. So, um, but yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. A lot of exciting stuff coming out, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for keeping uh, keeping to uh, inspire me. I appreciate that. And um, yeah, just thank you so much for all the love and support, man. I can never ask for anything different and and you guys show up every day. <laughs> so it's like, it's like if I show up every day, you guys are showing up every day. But seriously though, um, stay inspired no matter who it is. If I inspire you, that's amazing. I love hearing that type of stuff. Um, if I, you know, you guys inspire me to keep going hard. So, you know, like I said, I appreciate you guys. Uh, that's gonna be the end of the video. Much love, it's your boy Georgia Picker. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.